Hello again, this is Pitboss from Pitboss Gaming Co. and we are doing something new. So far we have built... There's a flag of me. So far we have built, well mainly me, but this is Snowflakes Island over here. Pretty shitty, I must say. I don't know why she has so many animals in the same pen, but whatever. Now I have built this building right here, and it is the new Pitboss Gaming Co. It is the official work building. So let's go inside and there are all these levers and you obviously saw all the redstone outside. Now if I pull this lever right here, it'll go to the second floor which is the animal farm. This lever will go to the third floor which is the farm. This one will go to the nether room. This one will go to my redstone lab. This one will go to a special room. This one will go to my penthouse and this one goes to the top floor which is an enchanting room. I'm also going to add a brewing stand in there eventually too, but since I don't feel like coming down here to re change the lever every time, I'm just going to pull this lever and wait for the stairs to load. There's usually a little bit of lag before because there's so many pistons and things working at once, so here's the second floor. This is the only floor that Snowflake actually designed. It's pretty much got four of every animal except for it's got one of every color sheep. It's got two white sheep for some reason. I don't know. Whatever. And it's pretty much that. Now, this floor up here is the farm. It's got wheat, it's got pumpkin, it's got melon, it's got sugar can and cactus, which I honestly did not know you could plant them right next to each other without the cactus being destroyed or the sugar can being destroyed. And here's another wart farm. I found something interesting about nether warts. If you plant it near lava, like just like water in regular plants, it will help the nether wart grow a little bit faster. I don't know if it does it on the PC, but it definitely does it on the Xbox. Now, here's the nether room. This room is personally my favorite, just because I like the way the nether portal is built. It's kind of like an altar. So let's go to the next room. This room up here is my redstone lab. I will actually show you what this is, because I did a demonstration on how to use this kind of repeater back here, this clock. So I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next room. This room is the pool room. It's pretty much got boats, it's got, let's see, I think it's six test certificates. There's three, uh, I think one of them drowned actually. Because there's two scuba divers down here. I guess you can breathe when you're next to a fence post like this. That's probably how they haven't drowned yet because they've been, been there for days. I think the sixth one drowned. I don't know. Yeah, I think he drowned. So this one is my pet house, and I keep getting cows spawning in here. Let me get rid of that noise. So, here's my pet house. It's got a special little house for me. Just me. It's got a little surprise in the ceiling. Let's see, is it this one? Yeah, it's got a chest with a bunch of enchanted stuff. Yeah, I'll fix that later. Now, to so the next floor is the enchanting room. I didn't really spend much time on this one because I was pretty tired by this point, but pretty much got this. It, you just pull this lever, there is bookshelves on all sides, please ignore the dogs walking in the background. And the enchanted table. Brandy! Sorry about that. You can actually level up all level 30 enchantments, it even goes beyond that. Now I'm actually going to go down to my redstone lab right now. I need to fix it because I unwired it just in case something happened. Now, when I step on this pressure plate, like I said before, you can make traps out of it. You can put, like, you can replace, like, these with dirt or something like that. Well, you can replace some of them with dirt. And th you can have, like, picture frames on the back of it, or you can have them all over the place. But when I step on this pressure plate, it will push this piston, like I demonstrated in the tutorial, which will then power and unpower this piston here, which will make a continuous circuit on these dispensers. Now, I already said in the tutorial that you have to have this on at least two ticks. Well, not two ticks, but you have to have it on three ticks. On the Xbox, it actually works with one, one tick, but you should have it on two ticks, just because it, it's better, and it doesn't freeze up. So when I step on this, heaven will rain upon you. There are thousands and thousands of diamonds in here. And eventually, it just get there's yeah there's a slime ball and I think there's actually a wolf spawn in there somewhere. I think it's in this one. Yeah, there's 
a wolf spawn egg in there as well. But eventually it gets to the point where there's so many diamonds, you'll just see them despawn because there's too many of them. It's just amazing how fast this works. Yeah, see there's a wolf. It's pretty much amazing. Like, if they were all picked up already, look how fast. I've already picked up, like, five stacks of items. There are more on the floor, but they've despawned just because there's too many ground items in the same chunk. I'm just going to attack this wolf. Follow me, doggies. Follow me down to the nether room. And burn, dogs! <laughs> 